How you doing? I'm Darren with Ash Kick and Barbecue. If this is your first time to the channel, then welcome. If you've been here before, then welcome back. Today we are talking salmon, but more specifically, we are going to be doing a little comparison cook today and we're going to see which one's better, crispy skin pan seared salmon or grilled salmon. I'm hoping we can get some nice crispy skin out on the grill as well. We're going to be cooking over charcoal today. Today I have some king salmon. This is wild caught king salmon. Actually a buddy of mine caught this in Alaska and gave me some. So there's a huge difference between farm raised and wild caught salmon. And number one, you'll notice the fat in here is much different. These are much leaner, but they are so good. So our goal here is to not overcook these because that's the worst thing you can do with wild caught salmon. So let's just bring you in. I'm gonna show you, this is gonna be an easy prep. And then we're gonna get some crispy skin in the pan and we're gonna see how it's on the grill and we'll see which one's better. So let's get in and get these prepped up. All right, so this is our king salmon here and you can tell that this is wild caught because there is not much fat in there, but this is some of the best salmon that I have ever had. And I did go ahead and scale these. All you're gonna do is just take your knife and push on there. You don't need to push hard and get all of the scales off. I did this outside because trust me, it makes a mess. You'll be finding scales months later throughout your kitchen. If you don't do it outside, if that's a risk you're willing to take, go for it. So I don't wanna cook these whole fillets as they are right now. So I'm gonna kind of portion them out and I like a bigger portion on my salmon here. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna cut these in half like so. And that's gonna be kind of a portion here. And what, I, what else I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the little bit of this tail off and I'll just cook this separately real quick. I'm not even gonna film that. That'll be for me a little snack. So we'll get that. And then for the pan seared one, what I like to do is I like to score it to prevent it from curling up in the pan. So we're just gonna take our knife and drag it over the top like so, and just put in a few score marks. This is optional, you don't have to, but it really does help prevent the curling. And we're not going super deep into the filet. We're just dragging the knife across. You can see that is really gonna help with the crispy skin. So just like that, looks really nice. I'm gonna take care of this one here. And for the ones on the grill, it's gonna be a real quick cook. So we're just gonna leave the skin as is. Now I'm gonna flip this over and we're gonna get this seasoned up. And the first thing that you wanna do here is make sure that this is dry. If these are not dry, you are not going to get crispy skin. It just makes it very difficult. Moisture is the enemy of crispy skin here. So we're just gonna get that nice and dry. Hit it with a little bit of oil, just like so. It doesn't take much. Then all I have here for seasoning is just some diamond crystal kosher salt. We're gonna season up both sides. So we'll get all of these seasoned up. The reason I didn't add oil to this top side is because it's still tacky enough. It's not wet, but it's still tacky enough to where it's gonna stick to the salmon nicely. It's not coming off. All right, so now we're gonna get these cooked one at a time. The first one we're gonna cook is going to be our pan seared crispy skin salmon. I'm gonna get the station set up here and I'll bring you right back. All right, so before we jump into the actual cooking of the salmon, I first wanna take a moment to thank the sponsor of today's video, Caraway. If you're not familiar with Caraway, they are a kitchen brand that offers some high quality and non-toxic cookware. This is their stainless steel set. It comes with four pans, three lids, and an absolutely awesome hanger. You can hang that right in the cupboard on the door where you store your pans. It even comes with nice little hooks. And of course, it also comes with a nice cleaning eraser pad for your pans. Little fun fact about how the brand got started. The founder of the company actually heated up a Teflon coated nonstick pan and ended up getting Teflon flu. It only takes about two and a half minutes to get up to 500 degrees with those things before they start emitting toxic chemicals into the air. So having a non-toxic cookware is just awesome. All right, so obviously using stainless steel pans can be intimidating your first time. I know it was for me and I struggled with it for a long time learning how to properly heat up the pan and cook on them. Luckily for you, I'm going to be showing you the proper procedure on how to do everything today so you can get perfect non-stick 
amazing tasty results. All right now these stainless pans are made out of five ply stainless steel which means that they are going to be extremely durable and last a very long time and that's also going to help avoid cool spots and uneven cooking and everything else and if you don't believe me they offer a lifetime warranty on these pans so that is an awesome deal and another fun fact about this brand they have over 65,000 five-star reviews so i don't know about you but that screams quality to me and just the feel of these they're absolutely beautiful now if you're interested in buying these i do advise that you get the four pan set if you were to buy these individually it would be about 20 percent more than just getting the set and i also have a code ash kicking that'll save you an additional 10 percent so if you think about it you're really saving 30 percent which is a heck of a deal so again that code is ash kicking save you 10 percent I'll have it down below here on the screen and everything will be down in the description, the link, the discount code, all of that. Feel free to check them out. You're investing in quality that's going to last you a long time and it has a lifetime warranty. So if something were to happen, at least you're covered. And you, that's a strong peace of mind because I do a lot of cooking, even off camera. There's always a lot going on in the kitchen. If something were to happen, I like to know that my investment is covered. That's a big, big deal to me. So like I said, if you're in the market to upgrade your pans, I highly recommend looking into Caraway, looking into this set specifically to save you 20% with an additional 10% with my discount code, Ash Kickin. It's like a 30% savings. So go ahead, check them out. Link down below in the description. Let me know, do you like to cook on stainless steel pans? Have you ever, are you intimidated by it? Hopefully after watching the rest of this video, you feel a little more comfortable. So let's get into cooking this crispy skin salmon because I'm starving. All right, so we have the pan preheating right now. And I'm gonna show you what this is supposed to look like when it's ready to be cooked on. So you see how that just kind of explodes everywhere here? That's not what you want. See how it's beating up right here? That is what you want. It looks almost like a little mercury ball there. That's what you're looking for, but you want that as soon as you put the water in the pan. So it's very important to make sure that your pan is preheated even before you put the oil in. You do not want to cook your oil before you cook your food. So again, I'm just gonna show you here. We're gonna put this right here. Still a lot of tiny bubbles right there, but that like mercury bubble right here that is what you're looking for. That's how you know that your pan is ready to be cooked on. So I'm just gonna dab that up. I know that this thing is ready to go. So I'm just gonna take some neutral oil. This is avocado oil. Use whatever you like. And we're just gonna throw this in there. Now we want even coverage. And this right here is not going to stick at all. I promise you. And I don't know if you can see it on camera, but this oil is shimmering, shining. It is ready to go. All right, so I just dried this piece of salmon off one more time. It's nice and dry. Anytime you're putting food into oil, you want to drop it away from you like that. If you watch the sides over here, you can start seeing it climb up and cook, but we just wanna let this go for just a couple minutes and then I'll bring you back when it's time to flip it, but don't touch it. Don't touch it, don't do anything to it. We're just getting that skin nice and crispy right now. All right guys, and I don't know if you can see that, but you can start seeing the line of where it's changing color as it cooks. So you're just gonna kinda watch that. And I'd say once you get about two thirds of the way up, you can flip it over and cook the other side. But the important thing is, is to get this skin crispy. I'm telling you right now, it is so, so good. All right, so it has been a couple of minutes. You can see by our line, we're about that two thirds of the way up. So now it is time to flip our salmon. And I don't have one of those fancy fish spatulas. I just have a normal spatula here. So what I like to do is get underneath upside down and just scoop that up. See that nothing is stuck there. And then we're just gonna flip it. And look at this, nice, crispy skin salmon right there. That is beautiful. You hear that? That is exactly what you're looking for. So we're gonna just let this finish off cooking. 
All right, so if you wanted to at this point, you could baste it with butter, add rosemary, thyme, garlic, whatever. I'm just going for a nice, simple salmon cook today. So I'm gonna check my temperature here. We are sitting at about 116 degrees. I'm pulling this off because I don't want it to carry over too much. I wanna let this thing rest and carry over slowly to the perfect, kind of medium rare, medium on this. So whatever you like, that's gonna be your determining factor, but I like kind of a medium rare salmon. So again, I'm just gonna go under this and I'm just gonna get this off and set it off to the side. But listen, nice and crispy. So at this point, we're gonna do our last piece of salmon here. All right, so I'm gonna cut the heat to this and then before you clean this, you wanna let it cool completely and then you just wash it like normal. Like I said, barkeeper's friend, if you wanna get any stains off, but look at, there's nothing stuck to that. That is a nice, pretty clean pan. So that looks wonderful. All right, so while this cools and that salmon rests, let's head out to the slow and sear kettle and cook our grilled salmon so we can do our test. All right, so we have the grill ready to go. We are just going to spray down our grates here so our salmon does not stick. And we're just gonna get it on here, like so. And then all we're gonna do is just spin these grates and get it right over those coals. And we're just gonna let this cook. I'm not even gonna put the lid on this. I'm just gonna let it cook over the coals so I can watch and observe what it is doing. This is the exact same process. You just wanna watch that cook line go up. And then once it's 60% or so, you can flip it over and finish it off. So I will bring you back when it's time to flip these. All right guys, and we were getting a little bit of a flare up, so I did just get the cover on here, but I'm not gonna leave it on long because these do not take long at all. I'll bring you back when it's time to flip them over and show you how they're looking. All right, it is time to flip this salmon. So I am just going to spin this rack and get these off of the heat. And then what I'm gonna do is just spray down this portion right here. So when we flip them, that will not stick. Now all we're gonna do is just take and get under this like we did before. And we'll go right here. And that's what I'm saying, you gotta be careful. Look at that skin though, nice and blistered. That looks wonderful. So we'll get under again. And you have to be gentle when you're handling salmon on the grill because it's very sensitive. Now we're just gonna spin this rack over and finish cooking them. So I'll bring you back when these are done. All right guys, so it has just been a couple minutes. I'm gonna spin this over, get it off the heat. This salmon is done. It's probing at about 120 degrees, which is a little higher than I would like, but check that out. Very, very nice looking salmon, as long as I don't drop it here. So I'm gonna get that on my plate, along with this one, and that's why it's so important to oil your grates. But look at that. Nice crispy skin there. So I'm gonna get these inside, let them rest for a few minutes and we'll jump in and we'll do the taste test, see which one's better. All right, so we've let this cool just a bit and here is our grilled salmon. Here is our crispy skin pan seared salmon. Now the grilled salmon definitely is crispy, but this right here is just, oh. I mean, this is some of the best part right here. You can just take and pull that off that crunch, amazing. So let's see how this grilled salmon looks here. And that looks pretty nice. It's a little further done than I personally prefer, but there is still definitely moisture in there. And I don't know if you're gonna be able to see that on camera, but there is definitely moisture in there. I mean, you can see my fingertip is wet and yeah. Maybe it's not as bad as I thought it was, but it's definitely not the medium rare like I usually prefer, but it is looking really good. And then let's go ahead and check on the crispy skin. And I'm gonna check this one. And yeah, I mean, that is just right there. Moisture coming out like crazy. 
Oh, I can't wait to try this. We have to do the taste test right now. All right, so it is the moment of truth here. We are gonna try our salmon. I'm gonna try this crispy skin salmon first, just because I don't want the smokiness of the grilled salmon to mask the flavor on this one, if that makes sense. So to try and keep it fair, we're going with the crispy pan seared one first. First, I'm gonna try the uh, meat here, the flesh. It is seasoned perfectly with the salt. I didn't even put pepper on this this time. So just salt is really all you need. It is tender. It is moist. Mm. Now let's go for some of this crispy skin here. Just pull that off. Unbelievable. It is so, so good. All right, now we're going to try the grilled salmon. Now it's still very, very moist, nice and flaky. A Little bit more done than the pan seared one, but that's okay with me. The meat itself, moist, tender, great flavor. A Little bit of smokiness from the grill, which was expected, which is why I'm trying this one second. But let's try the skin and see how that turned out. So I'm just gonna take and pull this off, like so. It's also very good. I will say I'm getting a little bit more of the char flavor on this. Kind of, it's almost a little bit more bitter. I don't wanna say it's burnt, cause it's not burnt, but it's that char flavor like that I love on chicken. Not a huge fan of it on the salmon skin, if I'm going for that, but the flesh itself, amazing. I love grilled salmon. It's one of my favorite things. Smoked salmon as well. But you cannot beat pan seared crispy skin salmon. It is just in a world of its own. It is just, it has everything going for it that I enjoy in salmon. All right guys, I'm going to eat. I hope you enjoyed this video. I've been wanting to do this video for quite a while actually, just to see the difference. And I'm still sold on the pan seared and honestly those caraway pans, like you guys saw, did a wonderful job. No mess, no stick. If you guys wanna see me cook an egg in one, let me know, I'll post it on my Instagram to show you that it can actually not stick to something. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to like, subscribe, Ring that bell, stay safe, and we will see you next time.